Just getting a first look at this new uh, T-Motor 50 amp ESC. Uh, really, really liking the T-Motor stuff so far. I've been using the F55 amp. Uh, you can see it looks like they have conformal coat at the back. That's how shiny it is. But you know, the first thing I'm going to do is conformal coat it myself because uh, that's how I roll. Uh, so the next thing I got to do is pop off this uh, this little plate. Uh, I'll probably just stick a prop down there in the corner and pry nice and gently until all the thermal paste lets loose and the top plate comes off. Let's see if I can get that. So I'm just pushing a prop right here into the edge of this and then gently lifting and I do the same thing on this side. Push the prop in and gently lift it. I can hear the pace just starting to come loose. Do the same thing again. And remember, just be slow and gentle here. Don't 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 push too hard. Don't go too fast. It'll come. Just go nice and slow. Just like that. And then you got this paste and the lid. And I'm going to use a little isopropyl alcohol to clean this stuff up. Uh, I'll be right back. So we got our ISO. And we're just going to put a little bit of that right on here. And scrub. And on the board side, I'm just going to take a Q-tip, also dipped in isopropyl alcohol, and we're just going to use that to uh, clean these guys up a little bit. Get them all smoothed out and flattened. Next up is going to be conformal coating. Um, this is MG Chemicals 422B. Uh, I love this stuff. I've been using this for years and years and years. Highly, highly recommend it. It works great. Uh, they've just replaced the 422B with 422C, so I, I carry that in stock now. Uh, there's other options out there too, like FPV Worry Free and Cot King. Uh, these guys are similar, but uh, not as well proven to me yet. So I'm still testing, and I've got a video coming out on them soon to show you the differences. Uh, but for now, I'm sticking to my standard, which is MG Chemicals, uh, and I will coat this whole board. Uh, this is the bottom side of the ESC, and the only thing on here that you need to avoid is this connector plug. Uh, if you're going to use the connector plug, which I will be, I'm going to connect it to a T-Motor FC, so I will be using that plug, so don't get anything in there, but otherwise, you can paint this whole board from edge to edge with no issues on the bottom side. And then on the top, uh, same thing. There's no buttons or connectors or pins up here to uh, cause you any problems. So we're gonna just do the whole thing in conformal coating. Uh, I, will, I like to do the bottoms first and then let it dry. And then after I finish the bottom, I'll paint the top. And before I let it dry, I'm gonna press that heat sink plate right back onto it so that it uh, presses down into the uh, conformal coating and gets all that stuff up in it so that the conformal coating helps form a seal between this heat sink plate and the actual chips. Uh, that's going to allow it to transfer heat the best without having air bubbles. You want it to be a liquid so that we press it in, it seals up and you get a nice solid transfer. And now I'm going to get the painting starting with the bottom side first. And this is pretty easy stuff to do. If you've ever painted fingernails, it's pretty much the same thing. 
you want to put it on all this stuff. If you have a, uh, a pad that you're going to use, then don't paint it on those pads. But this is the bottom of the board, and I'm not planning to use any of the stuff on the bottom except for that connector. So I'm going to be painting across everything here. And my brush could be a lot softer than this, but it's been used quite a bit. And so it's really, really hard, and uh, it'll still work just fine. I put lots and lots of conformal coating on, though. I am very generous with it. I want to be sure that it gets on everything and up in all the little nooks and crannies uh, on all these components on all the sides and one thing you can do to check your work before you finish is you can use a black light to look at this and just see and this conformal coating is UV reactive it'll make it where you can just see everywhere where you painted it um, I don't actually do the black light method. I just use lots and lots of bright white light. Uh, I've got a bright light right here on my desk so that I can do all my soldering and everything else. And I will uh, just apply it very generously and then give it a good look over with my eyeballs and see if I missed anything. But I want it to cover everything. And on the top side, I'm not going to paint the pads because I've yet to solder to them. But this is just my prep work. Uh, I'm going to prep by painting everything except for the pads I plan to use. The switches and couplers and buttons that I plan to use. Everything else gets sealed. We're getting pretty close now. So uh, now I'm just visually looking, making sure that everybody's nice and wetted. I want it all drippy all the way around, all the corners of all the boards, all the edges of these little chips. But yeah, that looks really really good let's see I see one more corner that's not shining yet right there what do y'all think you see did I miss any spots looks pretty good to me so now I just need to let it dry and then uh, after about an hour I'll be ready to flip it over and do the other side and when I do the other side again we're just looking out for buttons knobs switches anything at all like that anything that we don't want it to uh, interfere with let's get that pad too I like to paint right up to the edges of the boards as well so that when I do the top sides I just seal that thing in